Hi, this is Pete with RatMySpider.com. Today we're going to show you how to apply our Can-Am Spider F3 uh, knee panel kit, but not in our traditional paint protection film. Today we're going to feature it in our textured carbon fiber vinyl. So the application is a little bit different. This is going to be a dry mount application, but we'll take you through and show you a few steps on how to apply this correctly. So uh, as normal, we've already prepped the surface using our 70% rubbing alcohol and kitchen paper towel, as you can see on the seat of the bike. Um, you'll also want to have handy a pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife. And of course, uh, we always supply the application squeegee tool. So to get started, after the surface has been prepped, and of course your bike is in a controlled environment out of the wind and dust, you need to be in a temperature that's uh, above 65 degrees, preferably. We can begin our install. So to start, we're going to uh, take our upper graphic and place it into position and then tape it using our hinge method, which we've shown you in some of our other videos. So we've got it taped into position. Of course, you can check, check for fitment using the holes, also the bottom edge just above where it says Spider F3. You'll notice in this one, it's not a solid. We did a uh, F3 cutout with a little accent stripe just to enhance the look a little bit. So once we have our hinge in position, um, we can do our uh, half and half install. So we're going to start from the center of the graphic now that the hinge is in place, peel back the transfer tape, uh, cut away the paper backing, and then do our install from the center of the graphic. Uh, we're going to start from the center and work our way down first. Once you have the, uh, from the middle down applied, you can take off your hinge. And then we're gonna apply from the middle up. Once you have it squeegeed on and in position, then you can go ahead uh, and peel off the top transfer tape, which is holding everything together.
Uh, we also have our bottom panel as well that can be done uh, to expedite the video. We're going to uh, basically lay it on freehand and then squeegee it out. Of course, this is a dry mount application. So you do have the ability to uh, always apply this dry, not using any liquid because of the type of film that we're using. And you'll be instructed in the instructions that come with the kit as to how the application should be done. But most of the time it's going to be this hinge method or the method that I'm going to use uh, for this second panel. So I've got it tacked in place. Now I'm going to start squeegeeing from the high uh, section of the panel from the middle and then work way up and then down. Okay, and that's not trick camera work. The film really lays out that fast and that easy once you get into position and then squeegee it. So after you have it on, then we always recommend that you apply heat to it to set the film. Uh, as something a little extra, we'll probably add this section on the order form to allow you to buy or actually uh, choose for free an F3 cutout. So let me show you what I mean. So you could leave it just like um, it is now with the color of the bike showing through or check this out. Now that's pretty cool. So let me show you a little close up. Again, this is our textured carbon fiber. Here we chose to do the optional uh, color cut in of the F3 text. The cool thing about this is you can have a colored insert or you can choose to just leave it a gloss. And with this particular uh, customer's machine, he has some uh, optional saddlebags. And of course, they have a carbon fiber insert on the top. So for this bike, the whole theme kind of matches, which is really cool. So that was our F3 knee panel insert kit done in vinyl as another option for you. And of course, this can be found on ratmyspider.com. Thanks for watching.